Good morning children. I hope you are all fine. And this morning I am going to teach science for the grade 4. And the topic is preparation of food in plants. In this world all living things need food to survive. For example animals, birds, fishes, plants, insects and human beings are living things. All living things eat food to live. Why do we need food? We need food to grow. How do we eat food? We eat food through our mouth. Can you guess how plants eat food? Plants do not eat their food through the mouth. Do we feed them? No. Then how do they eat their food? They get food through the process of photosynthesis. Once again I will repeat. They get food through the process of photosynthesis. Now let us see what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their own food. Once again I will repeat. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their own food. For example, plants, trees, shrubs and grasses make their own food. The word photosynthesis comes from two words. Photo means light and synthesis means to make or put in together. The plants manufacture their fur that gives energy to the plants. The process photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of trees and plants. Before that, let us see two main things which is present in the leaves. The first one is chlorophyll and the second one is stomata. Chlorophyll. What is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is a green pigment which gives green color to the leaves. Once again I will repeat. Chlorophyll is a green pigment which gives green color to the leaves. Children, do you know the color of the leaves? Yes, most of the leaves are green in color because the chlorophyll pigment gives green color to the leaves and this chlorophyll absorbs the energy from the sunlight. The second one is stomata. What is stomata? Can plants breathe? Yes, plants can breathe through the stomata. The stomata is present in the surface of the leaves and stomata is responsible for two main functions. The first one is it absorbs CO2 means carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and it releases oxygen O2 to the atmosphere. Once again I will repeat the functions of stomata is it absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and it releases oxygen to the atmosphere. Now I am going to explain the process of photosynthesis. The process of photosynthesis need three main elements. The first one is CO2 means carbon dioxide and two H2O means water and third light means sunlight. First CO2 means carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas which is present in the atmosphere and absorbed into the leaves of the plants. And the second one is water. We all need water just like plants. Water in the soil absorbed by the plants and passed to the leaves. The third one is light. Light is absorbed into the leaf of plants. What is the best source of light? The sun. Yes, 
The sun is the best source of light. Now let us see what happens during photosynthesis. First, the root absorbs water from the soil and passes to the leaves. Second, the carbon dioxide absorbed from the air by the stomata. And third, the sunlight falls on the leaves absorbed by the chlorophyll. After this, chemical reaction takes place. In this, water, carbon dioxide and sunlight get converts into glucose and oxygen. Now the plants prepare their food. In plants, food in the form of glucose is a type of sugar. And the plants use this sugar to grow and make fruits, flowers and vegetables. This we need to live. And the another byproduct we get from photosynthesis is oxygen. The plants give oxygen through the process of photosynthesis that we need to breathe and live. Now, listen to this carefully. Animals and human beings breathe out carbon dioxide which the plants need to grow and plants give out oxygen which we need to live. Once again, I will repeat. Animals and human beings breathe out carbon dioxide which the plants need to grow and plants gives out oxygen which we need to live. What a beautiful relationship, isn't it? So, all living things on earth like plants, animals, grass and human beings live by the process of photosynthesis. So, we should protect and save the plants and forest. Let us plant trees and protect our earth. Now, let us see the basic structure of leaf. Plant has many parts like roots, stem, leaves, branches, flowers and fruits. The two main parts of the plant is root and shoot. Roots usually grows under the ground and shoots usually grows above the ground. The shoot has different parts like stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The stem helps the plant to stand straight and the leaves grows from the branches of stem. The leaves are usually green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll and the shape and size of the leaf may get different from plants to plants. Leaves are important because they prepare food for the plant. So the leaves are called food factory of plants. Now let us see the parts of leaf. 1. Petiole 2. Midrib 3. Leaf blade or leaf lamina 4. Leaf apex 5. Stipules Petiole Petiole is the stalk with the help of petiole the leaves are attached to the stem and this is midrib. We can see a thick vein at the center of the leaves that is called midrib or mid vein. Stipules. Sometimes at the base of the petiole we can see two small green leaf like structure called stipules. Example rose hibiscus leaves and this is leaf blade or leaf lamina. The broad green and flat surface of the leaf is called leaf blade or leaf lamina and this is leaf apex. The tip of leaf blade is called leaf apex. Now I am going to read the answers for worksheet. Choose the correct First one, the green plants make food with the help of dash. 
Answer is CO2, carbon dioxide. 2. The leaves are called dash. Answer is food factory. 3. Chlorophyll is a dash present in leaves. Answer is pigment. 4. The flat broad surface of the leaf is called leaf lamina. 5. The leaf is attached to the stem with the stalk is called dash. Answer is petiole. Fill up. 1. The process of making food is called dash. Photosynthesis. 2. The tiny pores in the lower surface of the leaves are called dash. Answer is stomata. 3. The dash absorb water and minerals from the soil. Answer is root. 4. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air with the help of dash. Answer is stomata. Thank you children.